Mr. Crimson. The interesting story about these two players, Mr. Crimson has asserted himself as one of the best in the Europe, can take any tournament that he attends. Yes. I feel like Takamura has always been right there on the cusp. He's beaten Tokido at major tournaments. He's always been right there and just not quite getting there. But this could be his big opportunity. If he can take out Mr. Crimson, get into top eight and make an epic loser's run. We saw clips of, the, of that when he fought the likes of Idom. He is in a, in a good way. He is a sweat. All right, he practiced for Idom. He is the reason Idom is there. He's going with the Akuma. We have not seen the stats we know how though in so long, but this is what we know Takamura for against Mr. Crimson. Let's go! And as I've said, you cannot spell Takamura without Akuma. And so that's what we're getting over here. So let's see if Mr. Crimson, however, can fight this and take him down. I mean, this is not a good matchup for the likes of Akuma. But back heavy punches definitely help out. Overall though, Sim is an anti-Shoto. He's been so throughout his entire life. Mr. Crimson, wow! Standing medium punch, what side? Wow, I had no idea what direction that was gonna be in. Thought we might have seen a V shift, but it looks like Takamura wants to save that V trigger so badly, and Mr. Crimson is gonna punish him for trying to hold on to that V trigger. Not a lot of buttons that you can really interact with in this match. It's a bit range with, with the Kuma. And again, the health differential, bro. You just get cooked. We talked about Sim being a quote unquote zoner. He does so much damage. Look at that. The stun. Dude, Mr. Crimson, he does the craziest thing. He blocked a move and responded with reversal EX fire. EX flame. Defensive and the offensive decisions. Some of the best, actually, I would say, in uh, quarter five. Ooh, Activation, bumping the first situation. After that, be a reversal. He's minus. He got caught. Didn't fall for the shimmy. Gonna get the juggle with the standing medium punch. And there we go. Crimson, game number one. Dolphin is the switch to Ken win. coming now? Or is he gonna ride or die with the Akuma all the way through? We know them for Akuma, but we did see the Ken previously in the group stages. And I talked to him at UF8. He asked a lot of us, the players, stuff like that, right. what should I play? And I was like, you know, Akuma and Kit is a fantastic pairing. There are some matchups like Birdie and this one. Right. Maybe not the best, but you have a character that kind of fits your style. Maybe yeah. he doesn't feel like it's ready enough to take down Mr. Crimson just yet. I mean, again, if you rearrange the letters of his name, it's Akuma Art. And that is basically what he is playing here. He is using this character so artistically. But Mr. Crimson, he is absolutely the best with Dalsam in the world right, right the now. World. And he is showing that as he is dismantling he is. Takamura. Bro, Mr. Crimson is stringing him up like Picasso. Another round going down on the side of round Mr. Crimson's brother. This is looking difficult. And again, it's hard to find those situations with the buttons that you'd like to have. Back heavy punch is great, but look at all these anti-fireball options. And that's just one layer of how Sim deals with Shotos. Slides. Oh, OK. The oh, here we go, though. Gets a knockdown. Close range gameplay. CQC, you see, way better. He now gets taken from counter and combo. EXCB stuns rising. Takamura here with an opportunity there. Wow, V reversal on a negative button, but it doesn't matter. Oh, here we go. He's the best at landing this. Look at the damage. Look at that damage. What happened to all of Akuma's life? It's all fading away. All fading away. Level cross on the slide. Activation. Teleport out of there. He's got to uh, uh, respect the fireballs as a result. No keep off the medium. Air fireball again. Oh, oh. Yeah, fireball just goes for the raw fireball and catches the hit. Takamura finding a round onto the board. He's talking about switching up what he does up in the corner. We see those fireball corner pressure sequences like we saw it against Idom, and now we're seeing it here. The zone, the plasma, put up on the screen up in the corner of the oh, dive. Kick again. Close this up the, the shift. Yo, he is playing this magnificently, but it's not over yet. Doesn't make the comeback in the super. Okay. Gonna hurt, but it won't kill. Trying to put him down to as little health as possible. That's plus frames. There's the OS from Mr. Crimson to escape throws and to also uh, attack you. He's one touch, one tap, trying to get the dive kick, anti air. Come air rush down from Dawson. Where are you going? You can't get away with that. You can't get away. Yo, where oh, was that at? Side with, with the that? box, though. Know. All this health. Look at this. He has no life left. He has it's no overhead. life left. It's overhead, but wasn't able to reach. Mr. Crimson clutches it out. What? Dawson what? Wins. This this zoner 
the zoner. Where does health go? I'm, look, I'm checking my pockets. I'm looking around. Do y'all know where his health went? Because I don't, I don't see it. Mr. Crimson defeating Takamura in that last round with the classic Dalsam zoning style. He locks in with the Akuma pick to try to do it. I don't know, but Mr. Crimson is the one on game point. That was a very close set right there. It was only one hit away, but Mr. Crimson was one of the best defense in the business in timing too as well. See, Mr. Crimson just has the answer for everything. That quick slide under the jump. But here we go, Takamura getting the crush counter hit. And now the pressure into the corner. We all thought that Takamura had that uh, to tie it up one to one, but that ridiculous comeback from Mr. Crimson. And here we go, yeah, teleports yeah, out of there. Run away, you don't have to help the play with anti right there. Mr. Crimson checking that approach, but not on the ground, the fierce land. DP hard knockdown. Air fireball, number one, aim for the tick. Air fireball trade, not too bad for Takamura, has to come the corner. Ooh, the ear to ear right there checking. The EX demon flip. See the mo the movement from Mr. Crimson and Dawson. Just the absolute, just just art beautiful use of drills and jumps. And here we go. Tries to fake the throw. Slide interrupts the fireball and again. Mr. Crimson will not let Takamura take anything. But well, Takamura had that confirmed what happened. He would have had around the board right here. It's uh oh, Robson adding big. to so much, but does get the anti right there. The back heavy punch again. Yeah, back heavy punch causing a knockdown, so you don't have to time when Dalsam lands. So that's really nice to have. Here we go. He should be able to juggle, but wasn't ready for it. Get that side switch though. Man, all these antis are stopping the people flip, and that's such a big you know, toolkit of this character game plan. Fierces, crouch fierces, people are crushing. It's not happening. Basing for Mr. Crimson to avoid that oh. back heavy punch. But here we go. Takamura getting some offense here. Takes off in the corner. Air fireball trying to clip a limb. Awkward situation. Takamura puts it right back in the corner of the trade. Not too bad for Takamura. He has to come up in the corner of the slide. Oh. Of Covers the time to stay fine. EX connects the Tatsu to seal it. Takamura still in business. Mr. Crimson even had the answer to that EX fireball. If he had done it just a little bit later, he might have actually been able to get the slide to hit. He just was a little too early because the fireball was coming a little bit closer. Takamura trying to get aggressive. And Bill, base god Agni coming through and the clutch is a lot of red. You're almost dead. Reset the medium. The ball by Susie, the dive kick and play the throw. Yo, the stun is rising. It's done. Mr. Crimson, see in red and make it Takamura dead. That is 3-0 on Mr. Crimson's side. Mr. Crimson coming here and showing why he is considered one of the favorites here, starting this top 16 in the loser side, going through Valmaster 3-0, and now Takamura 3-0. He has clearly been the player doing the most domination here in this top 16. And there you have it, Mr. Crimson.